Okay, so now we're going to take a look at an English corpus of texts. Here, as before, we're going to use uh, Europarl, so the English Europarl, as distributed by NLTK. And we're going to figure out how frequently do we find words of varying lengths in English. And we're going to do this. We're not going to require the use of any programming language other than just the regular programs that come with Bash and come in a Linux environment, command environment. So this is what we had done to get the most frequent words in English. So what do we need to change to get the most frequent word lengths? There's a couple of ways we, we could do this, but let's start at the beginning and delete some of this. So we're starting off with an English text. Let's just look at the first couple of lines. Okay, so if we want to figure out the most frequent word lengths in this document, there's a couple of ways we could do that. One of them would be to just replace every character, every non-white space character, with some placeholder. That would be one way to do it. So everywhere we, where we see a, two, uh, a, a letter, we'll replace it with, I don't know, a dot or a dash. Okay? So that would be one way to do it. Let's, let's start by doing that. Uh, so tr uh, a through z, a through z, dash. Okay, that gets us some things, but I forgot the punctuation marks. So let's add in the numbers, 0 through 9. Let's add comma. Let's add period. Still got colon. So this is a little tedious, but it works. Yeah. So that's, that's one way that we could do it. Or we could use said and do a replace of one letter words with the number one, two letter words with the number two, three letter words with the number three, and so on. Okay? Uh, anybody think of an easier way to do this that's not going to involve me having to stand here and figure out all of the characters in there? Recall from your regular expressions that you can invert a set, that you can find the complement of a set. Okay, so what if, so here I've specified a set inside here. What if I specify not space? So in regular expressions, the caret typically means beginning of line, but in terms of specifying a set within a regular expression, it means not. So let's see if this works. So let's translate everything that's not a space into a dash. That did not work. Okay, so the program that I chose, TR, evidently doesn't support that syntax. It might support it in a different way, or I could switch toolkits to said, which supports a better range of regular expressions and set matching than uh, TR does. Let's try that in said. So everywhere where there's not space, I want to replace it with a dash, and I'm going to mark G to do this globally. So without the G, said will only do, do this match once per line. With the G, it will do it all the time. Okay. So there's my corpus where I've replaced everything that was not a space with a dash. At this point, the steps remaining are essentially identical to what we had done in trying to find simply the most frequent words in the language. Okay, so let's go through and repeat that process. So I'm going to begin by using TR to translate every space into a new line. So this is the whole corpus printed out with every word replaced with the dashes. I'm now going to sort it. 
That might take a minute. Okay. I'm now going to run unique dash C to identify the number of times things were duplicated. Okay. I'm now going to use sed to get rid of the, the line initial spaces. And then use sort with the dash n flag to sort numerically. And then finally uh, translate the spaces between the columns into tabs. And pipe and redirect the output into a tab separated value file. So when I look at that file, by token, or rather by type, we've got the most common length in English in terms of how many times words occur like that, is two-letter words. 100,000 times in these eight documents of English, representing eight days' worth of English language proceedings of the European Union Parliament. We've got the next most frequent is three-letter words, then four-letter words, then one-letter words, then five-letter words, then six letter words, and seven, and then it goes on mostly like you would expect, with a few exceptions. Um, this is interesting, we have blank lines. Not quite sure why that happened. That would require a little bit of debugging on my part. Shouldn't be too hard to find, uh, but there were some blank lines. Uh, and then we end up with a bunch of things that only happened once, or rather, a couple. So I'd be really curious to see what those were. Uh, my guess is those are tokenization errors, where there were words that were glued together as a single token and in fact shouldn't have been a single token. Okay, all right, and so that gets us that, and we could, if we wanted to, SCP that file to a local machine and open it up in a spreadsheet if you wanted to do more analysis on it that way.